Well, before everybody kills themselves over what's better, what has more features, and what fly barless unit you can set up in three seconds, um, I'll just do a little video. I've got both. I've used B stacks. I've used um, Spectrum uh, uh, fly barless units. Um, Brain, the original Brain, Brain 2, Icon 2, and now uh, I tried these Mikado uh, v, v Control and uh, Neo over there. Um, start with the uh, Spectrum. Turn this thing on. All right, that one's on. That's on this heli. Oh, I better turn this transmitter on. The ESC's freaking out. Uh, sounds? Uh, yeah, the Mikado is, uh, sounds cool. <laughs> if you're worried about what's got good sounds and fun sounds. Um, here's the wizard menu on the uh, fly bar list for the um, Brain, Brain 2 Icon 2. Um, it's got, uh, these are the pages, one, two, three, four, whatever the hell they are here. Oops. Page number you're on, you start here. You can input these, doesn't really matter. It's just the names of your servos and whatever the hell you want. You go to your where your wires are. The fly bar unit orientation, your servos, um, pick your receiver, hit bind, bind it up, wiring screen so you know what the hell you're doing, transmitter screen is really easy, you just go left and right, set everything to 100, um, swash, just set up your swash, here's where you level your servo arms and your swash, set your pitch and cyclic rates, that's really it. Same with the tail, center your tail, get the endpoints right. Uh, blades, blade size, set up your rescue. I got mine on three, you just click these two buttons and you're done. Not hard. Uh, governor is very simple too. You put your pulses for rotation, your main gear ratio, your tail ratio. You set up your um, ESC endpoints, real easy. It tells you how to do it over on the side here. Pick your telemetry, which, which ESC you're using for telemetry. Um, these are your correction factors, mock correction factors, so you can have a battery fuel gauge, which the Mikado does not have battery fuel gauge when you're using Hobby Wing or Talon ESCs or a castle. So that's one bonus for the Spectrum with Brain 2, uh, Icon 2, or Jetty, whatever the hell you're going to use with your brain. Um, you set your three speeds in here. I'm not using our um, governor in here. This My Talon does not have a governor out wire. I don't want to set anything else up. I'm just using the internal, uh, internal uh, governor on the tail end. Your uh, governor gain here. Um, here's your three modes. Just have mine on a three-way switch here. So you just pick one. It has presets built in. And they're very good, very good presets. Everything's usually perfect. No bobbles, no wobbles, no vibrating, no nothing. No oscillations. My third one is the, because I'm out of channels, I have to put my third one as my rescue. I'd need a DX8 for what I'm doing, because I'd rather have it on the bind button. But I got it on my third setup, so I got to hit that to hit rescue. It's kind of annoying. Very annoying. Um, this has voice alerts, battery levels, all that stuff. Just talks to you if you want it, you know. Be annoyed. Volume Speaker does crackle at 100. Kind of wonder who designs these things. Here's your overall checks on the last page. Um, you want to get to advanced. Let's say you want to um, increase your cyclic rates from 400 to 500. You go in here, you do it. Your I gain, your D gain, all that stuff's in here. No big deal for each setup. No, no, nothing crazy. It turns green. Tell you which one you're on at the top. It, set up two, set up one. Same with tail, same with governor. Very easy to do anything you need. Um, you can go common here, throttle and governor. You want to, you can do anything you want in here for the uh, governor. There's so many settings. I usually use all the stock settings, they work just fine. Um, rescue too, you can do different things with the auto level. Um, I have to be on the, on the right one. Auto level, use rescue. I don't know why it's not on right now. Um, you can do your rescue pitch duration, max pitch. I'm going to bump this up actually. Let's do a second. I used it the other day and uh, 
it barely made it out. It was too close to the ground. Um, servos, you can change the uh, endpoints here if you want. Orientation, we already have. Receiver, you can change your channel setup if you want. Very important with a Spectrum because um, getting your channels right in Spectrum is a bitch to, to do what you want to do. I have to admit that. It's, it's not the easiest menu structure in the Spectrums. Um, kind of silly. Why is my V-bar connecting? Should have connected. So it won't bind to it unless it's off first. Okay. Let's just turn it off. Um, let's go to the menus. Um, people are under some impression that um, there's no telemetry or something, or there's more telemetry in one of the other systems. This is the brain too. It gives you everything you need um, from your volts to your RPM, temperature, current used. RX voltage. This is a screen I stand. I use volts for my battery pack because I don't have my, my um, current used yet set up. I don't really care. I I came from the quad world where we use volts. It's just what I use. I don't. It doesn't bug me. I just I have that screen up while I'm flying. So I just look down or you can set an alert. Whatever you do, voice alerts. Whatever. Uh, your amps used. You can configure these screens however you want to. Like pack capacity. Um, now if you want to get into uh, Let's say you're flying, you're at the field, you don't have your computer, you don't have Bluetooth on your phone. You can do anything you want from here. Let's say, I don't know, let's say we want to um, increase the, the, the tail. Um, let's say we want to increase the speed. I gotta look at the screen, it's hard looking through the phone. Go in there, go in there, 510, 511, nothing special here. Very easy. You can go up by tens, or you can go down by, you can do it by ones. Turn to the right. Uh, what was I at, 500? And you store it. Whatever, I'll adjust it later if I wasn't at 500. Same with your cyclic. I mean, any, anything you want in here, you can do. Very simple. Um, to get out of it, you can just put your throttle on for a second, or you push the sticks in. No big deal. Um, that's really it. I mean, there's nothing. It does everything you need. We're very cheap. Um, let's see. Let's move over to this Mercado system. Let me plug it in. Better turn the transmitter on first. Yeah, put this down. Plug it in. All right, just plugged in. It's connected. Um, let's look at the software here. Software is very colorful. Mercado software. Um, let's get out of here. It's not. The, here's the main screen. You get. You can adjust everything you want there. Um, very colorful. Pretty easy. Pretty obvious how to use it. Um, but your setup is in here. All your that's how you do your setup in this very similar to the brain with the main, with the tabs and you go through one by one nothing really different you can also do setup in here in your transmitter um, it has some um, some some presets I'm not going to go through it I don't want to screw mine up um, there's the ESC wizard new heli wizard and you it's got all the logo presets already done um, pretty neat. Um, so one bad thing with this hobby wing or tail on you do not get volts you do not get milliamps consumed with Neo um, that's pretty piss poor on their part for the most expensive system out there um, they have their excuses um, however um, MSH made it work with any ESC and you're telling me uh, these guys with the super expensive system can't make it work that's that's bullshit. Um, supposedly Hobby Wings now revising their firmware to make it work. So we'll see what we get out of that. It's just piss poor. You can you can run a current sensor. It's another hundred dollars. You got to put it here. 
then run a wire. So now you got a current sensor, you got a solder and another wire. So that's that's not plug and play like everyone says. That's for damn sure. You got to be using a Scorpion or one of the Contronics to get your volts and uh, milliamps used. And that's bullshit. I'm not running either of those ESCs. They're too expensive for my taste. I'm not Ben Storick here. Um, one weird thing about this system. All your style settings, your RPM, and your tail gains, all your gains, they're all on a bank switch. So like, bank two, motor off. Bank all your banks determine that. You can't separate those gains from your RPM. I find that really odd because maybe I'm odd the way I fly and the way I do things with low RPM. Sometimes I need super high tail gain, sometimes I don't. Um, sometimes I want a very aggressive flight style with a very low head speed. You cannot do that with this system. You gotta select all those and that's all you get. You select them in the beginning. That's all you get. So like I'm saying, on my governor, my bank one. Whoop. Or let's say here's my tail gain on bank one. Motor on. Seven. Motor on. It. Motor off. It's 70, bank, 70, 70. Bank three. Bank two. Bank one. That's all you get. I can't go and say, oh. Unlock, modify. Lock, I modify. want a certain RPM and a certain, um, what the hell is it? Certain tail speed. You can't do it. You can bank see. three. Bank That's one. all you get. It's easy to change things, though. That's for sure. Um, I wish the screen didn't go back and forth like that. that wish you could select it because now, so let's say you want to get out, you got to wait, or it exits when you're in the middle of something. It's kind of bizarre. They need like an exit button or something, but they try to keep it simple. It's one wheel and one push button. That's it. That is all. Um, one funny thing guys are saying, oh my god, you can adjust things on the fly. Um, let's say I wanted to go to main rotor, and I want to throw some expo in here, so I was messing around with this earlier. So let's go to expo. Um, you can just leave it on the screen and do this while you're flying. This is not going to close on It'll close, but after a few seconds. Um, but let's say you want to mess with that the whole flight. It's easy. You go here. Unlock, modify. Hit the switch. Turn this. Guess what? Now it controls your expo. Doesn't matter what menu you're in now. This switch will always do that till you turn it Lock, off. Modify. Let's say you want to go and do the style, the main rotor. Again, hit it. Unlock, modify. There you go. Just like that, or just use this button. Um. Any any setting you can do. I mean, you don't you don't even have to look down really. You, it just takes a second. These menus are huge. It's only one wheel, so it's easy to do this while you're flying. Well, what I mean by flying is you sit there and hover for a second, go to the menu you want, click it on, and then you're done. Um, the one thing this is highly specific. It's specific to the Neo. There's not a ton of menus you're going to be on while you're flying. You're going to either be in main rotor, tail rotor, or governor. That's it. Just to adjust your expo, your style, your rate, your gains. You can turn your auto trim on and off, which is a really cool thing. Um, I'll say this is one steady hovering system without a lot of work being put into it. Um, you're not gonna you're not gonna go into your collective curve while you're flying. You're not gonna go into your collective balance. You're not gonna do all that. You're gonna basically stay in these couple ones here, and if you want to work on your tail, you're gonna stay in these these three things here. That's it. Very simple. So it's not dangerous. It's very easy to adjust on the fly. That's one advantage to this system. Ergonomics on this thing, I can't stand it. Switches are too long. I'm a thumber and I, it's hard to get to the ends. These switches are in strange spots for me. I'm not used to it yet. I like the spectrum over this a lot more. Um, weight's fine. Nothing special. Nothing different. Um, I do like the metal handle. The spectrum has plastic. But it also has an antenna in here, that's why. Um, gimbals. Um, the Mikado are a little smoother, but all basically the same. Nothing special there. Unlock, modify. Switches all feel Lock, about modify. the same. These are a little better Unlock, feeling modify. on the Lock, modify. Mikado, a little bit better. Um, but honestly, um, the game has changed.
with the integration of the Brain 2 Icon 2 and what MSH did for uh, everybody. Um, there's not a lot of differences. If, if you want a flashier, slightly easier to use interface, you'd go with this. Um, otherwise, I mean, you're not you're not getting like people are like, oh, I want full telemetry and all this. Well, this doesn't give you full telemetry unless you're running running certain ESCs. This gives you full telemetry on any ESC you want. So you can't say you, you want full telemetry, and that's why you picked this. You're, you don't know what you're talking about then. Um, they, they both have telemetry. They, they get it in different ways. To get full telemetry on most ESCs, you got to have the damn UI sensor for this, another 100 bucks. That's bullshit. Um, and you're still not going to get ESC temperatures or any of that. So this does that out of the box. The DX7 with the, or the Jetty or whatever transmitter. With the Brain 2 icon too, does it right out of the box. Um, another funny thing: the 15 minute setup. <coughs> you can do any one of these in 15 minutes. Showed you the menus here. Whether you're using Brain or Icon, it has the Wizard menu. It's dead simple. There's nothing hard about it. Um, I find the Brain 2 a little easier to use for me just because I've used it for three years now, and the Mikado's new, so it's a little strange. Uh, the things they, the names they call things, the way they do things, a little different to me. It's going to take a while to get used to. I'm probably going to keep both systems around. Um, other than that, we'll go do a flight in another video. I'll show you, I'll just do it with this. You don't need to. Well, I'll do them with both. I'll show you how you can maybe adjust something on the fly on here and adjust something while in flight, not just on the fly in here. So you don't. You can then decide if it's dangerous. You tell me. Um, one piss poor thing with the uh, Neo, I had both of these on the Neo, I switched them over, I was getting low head speed bobble um, that I cannot get rid of, um, that I do not have when I switch back to the brain and when I had Icon on here. So no matter what settings I've touched and I've gone the gamut up and down, I cannot get rid of it. So to me it tells me the brain and Icon can handle low, sp low head speeds way better than the Neo until I figure it out. So that kind of sucks because I like low head speed. I don't do four minute flights. I like to be out there for seven, eight minutes. Um, so if this thing cannot, if I cannot fully get these bobbles out, um, this thing will go. I'm not going to put up with that. Um, I have done everything in here from little to from zeros to 100s. And then there's even the turbo setting where you can go to 120. Um, so I don't know what's going on. I changed. I even went ahead and changed um, head dampers in this one only to see if that helped. Did not help. Um, so I do not know what's going on. It's kind of pissing me off though. Alright, I'm going to charge up some batteries, go out for a flight, and record that next.